y'all! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Q&A for you. And that stems from the, I have it pulled up on my laptop, like right on my lap right now. Um, the grocery shopping attempt. Maple, what are you doing? Um, so here we go. Nathan asks if I will ever get a tattoo. No, I won't. Uh, Jackie asked, how long have I been working out and how many days per week are you a Christian? How long have I been working out? This will be almost my three year anniversary. I work out six days a week. I take one rest day, mostly on Sundays, or I am bad and I don't take it. I'm supposed to take two week. I try, it never happens. Um, <laughs> are you a Christian? Yes, I am a Christian. I'm not, I don't categorize myself as any type of Christian but I believe in God and Jesus and I love them dearly. So, yes. How do you respond to negative comments? Um, first off, it's, it's hard to say I don't let them get to me because they do get to me. I'm a very sensitive person. But I either don't respond or I respond kindly telling them that um, what they're saying is rude and um, unnecessary or I delete and block them or I have amazing friends who attack for me thank you <laughs> uh, next question oh go down have I ever thought about transitioning to figure yes I did I actually got a coach don't suggest him I'm not even gonna mention him he was a terrible decision I was with him for like three weeks no anyways I considered it and then I thought about, I was like, wow, I love, I love bikini and I love just lifting for myself. So um, the way that figure girls do legs and everything, that's not necessarily what I want to do. And I would have to really bulk up my legs and my quads to be able to um, be competitive. And my lats, like I would have to take three years or so to get that big. Um, next question. What's the difference between L-carnitine and CLA? So CLA is um, conjugated linoleic acid. Look it up on examine.com. I don't take it. I don't suggest it. The research I've done, um, doesn't, it doesn't provide any additional benefit. Some people have seen an additional benefit, but for my own personal research, it has not. And um, I've pulled up a study that says that it um, Causes insulin sensitivity. So yeah, I don't take it. Um, L-carnitine, I do suggest for anybody, and I do take it. Um, I take about 1,500 milligrams a day. Uh, it helps in the fat metabolism, and it's naturally occurring in your body, so you're not taking something that isn't in your body. So I would suggest it. I've even suggested it to my aunt and my cousin and my other cousin, and my sister. <laughs> so yeah, I do suggest up carnitine. Um, next question. What does your normal day-to-day -day routine look like? Okay, simply put, I wake up, I have my coffee, and I cut it with maple, and then I do my Bible reading, and then I go to class, I have an hour of break to study, I go to my next class, then I have an hour and a half to two hours of, oh my God, I have to video her doing this. Continue on. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even get it. She was chasing her tail. Okay. Okay, so gym, and then I go to, if I have another class, I go to class or I study. Or I binge watch YouTube and yeah, <laughs> that's my day to day. Of course, eating, if I have time to nap, which is only on Mondays for like an 45 minutes. So yeah. Um, what's your favorite PE science flavor? I can't choose. I love them all. Um, right now, I am really liking vanilla. Um, Maple's favorite is cookies and cream. Um, I really like Snickerdoodle. I really like PB Chocolate. I like them all. Like, I can't choose. But my favorite high-volume flavor is cotton candy. So I can choose that. Next question. 
Any tips for a vegan cutting down? Hoping to cut down to 13% body fat at the moment. Yes, so it doesn't matter if you're vegan, a paleo dieter, a if it's a Chermacker's dieter, key is being in a calorie deficit. So if you're in a calorie deficit, I suggest starting 100 to 200 calories a day to cut. And um, you could do that by doing cardio, food, or both. Um, how do you start up a fitness channel? I don't know. YouTube I use just to help you guys. So I can't personally answer that question other than starting a YouTube and making videos. Um, I think my friend Amanda Bucci has done a video on how to start. So you might want to check that out. I'll put her name in the bottom. Um, when you aren't working out, studying, or playing with maple, what do you like to do for fun? I like to watch YouTube. <laughs> I like to hang out with my friends, shop. Um, I like to relax because honestly, I don't have that much time. I'm a busy student and I have a busy schedule and my classes are hard. So if I have downtime, I really like to use it like the way I want to use it. And I want to relax because personally, I deserve it. And I'm not going to go, I don't go out and party. Like that's not who I am. So I'm a really laid back person, really lazy person in real life. <laughs> Um, you mentioned you live with your sister. No, I don't yet. I'm going to be living with her, um, starting in the fall. So, yeah, you'll see her, hopefully, if she will work with me. Um, somebody said cage-free eggs still support immense cruelty to chickens. Okay, I'm still eating my eggs. Yeah. What are your plans after college? I am hope I will first I'm going to graduate and then I have to do my dietetic internship, which I don't know where it'll be, but I'll do that for 6 to 12 months and then I'm hoping after that I get my RD certification after I take the test. Then I don't know where I'll be working, but I will work. I'm hoping um, to work in older senior living care at first. Um, that's just kind of where my heart is. Um, plus that population is really booming and I feel like there's a need for um, nutrition education and nutritional help there. So I'm going to be working in their community nutrition either way. I don't want to work in medical. May mostly because um, I hate hospitals and I'm actually kind of like a germ freak. And yeah, that scares me. So uh, my future is going to involve me um, building my own like palace my house that's like my dream and my house is gonna have like like across the house there's gonna be little ledges where maple and all my cats can walk around and then there's gonna be this like indoor guys I'm like totally serious about this there's gonna be an indoor um I don't know what to call it <sighs> like a screen and porch kind of thing where they can go out there and they can just like chew outside but they won't get like ticks or anything on them and they'll be outside and they can just live and oh on the ledges there's gonna be these little bubble things that they could sit in and like take naps and like chew them and look at me so yeah I'm so excited <laughs> I'm not even joking it's happening um what are my thoughts on creatine creatine is awesome you can um take it Really, I don't think there's specific any time of day, but it really helps in building muscle and increasing your strength. There's so many scientific studies done on it, so I really do suggest it. Um, you, there's some creatine non-responders. Some people hold water. It depends on the creatine you're taking. You could take um, creatine monohydrate or creatine hydrochloride, which is without the water molecule. I suggest the hydrochloride because um, it's just it. There's you don't need a loading period. If you don't know what a loading period is, Google creatine loading period. Yeah. Um, so I suggest that. Or um, true creatine, which is by PE Science, which is the one I would ultimately suggest. Um, next question. Brittany, since I've started working out, I found my deodorant isn't the best for odor. Do you mind sharing the deodorant you feel works the best at controlling this while working out? Thank you for the reminder to put it on deodorant before my workout. <laughs> it's a men's deodorant. I actually suggest using a men's deodorant because they, um, whoa, this is a weird angle. Um, 
I feel like they work better. But there is a really good one, um, Clinical Secret, but it's expensive. And, yeah, I have yet to buy that. Um, if you could get any breed of cat, what would you get? Oh, that's easy. I would get an exotic short hair um, with the big eyes because, like, I'm obsessed. Like, if you don't know who Pudge the cat is, like, that is my ultimate cat. Okay, so Caitlin asked, how do you keep your body fat so low without cardio? Um, genetically, I'm naturally lean, so that is not an issue for me. Um, but it, it's staying consistent in the gym and working hard and eating right and building your metabolism. Ryan asked, what are your favorite breakfasts? I love zoats. Zucchini, egg white, oats with two rice cakes or three rice cakes every single day of my life. Every single day. Not joking, every single day. Do you ever work out chest? I work it out once or twice a week. I only bench, that's all I do. I'm a bikini girl, plus I don't really like doing bench. I used to work chest a lot and I, um, I, I just don't like how big like this gets to me. It's just like pudgy and it's just not, it's not what I want to do. And if I don't have, like, you guys know me. I'm all about doing what you love. And I don't love working chess, so I'm not going to do it a lot. Um, oh, guys, by the way, somebody said, please make a Snapchat. I do have a Snapchat. It's uh, Lacey A. Dunn. I don't use it a lot. I'm trying to. I don't know how to use it, so <laughs> bear with me. But you can follow me on Snapchat. I do Snap Maple and my food and randomness. So, yeah. Um, somebody asked what my current body fat percentage is. I have no clue. I don't care. I don't check. It's just a number I don't really care about. Can I please describe what a stack, what a stack is from PE Science? So a stack is basically just, um, what they think are the best ingredients and the best products that will work for certain goals. So weight loss would be alpha mean shift with whey or weight gain could be Innovata Elite with creatine and um, and whey. It just kind of depends. Honestly, like what I do is I just take what I want and I don't take a certain stack. Um, can you mix two different PE Science powders? Yes, you can. So like high volume and alpha mean, you could totally mix. I don't do that just because I literally like I enjoy the flavor so much. I don't want to mix them. Just plus there's more to drink and you can get more water in if you drink them one at a time. Um, those are all the questions. I got it done. Yay. Okay. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, short and sweet. Um, if you can comment below what you want to see in the next video, I can get one up. Um, I have a major medical nutrition therapy 2 exam on Tuesday, and then I can attack another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you want to see below, and I can get to making a new video by the end of the week. That was Maple. She said hi. Come here.